Hey guys, today I'm going to be reacting to Yuri on Ice episode 11 and we're finally back to the main channel. I don't know just yet if I'm going to upload this to the backup channel or not. I might upload it to the backup channel because um, if, if a few of you are asking where the episode is on my backup channel, because I did do an update video where I let you guys know that the main channel is back up, but if a few of you do constantly uh, ask me where is the episode, I will be uploading this to the backup channel as well. But, from now on, and today, 4th, I will be uploading every single one of my live reactions to the main channel, unless in the future the main channel does get taken down again, which we're still at risk of that of that possibly happening, which I also have to bring up a topic, uh, I, ha I have to bring something up around that, uh, around that, about that in a little bit, but I just want to let you guys know that the main channel is back up, so please do stay subscribed to the main channel. From now on, we will be uploading every single episode to the main channel, um... And do still stay subscribed to the backup channel because this might happen in the future. Do still follow me on my social media because this still might happen in the future. Uh, that's why I'll keep you guys updated. Follow my other channels as well because if both of the channels are, are like taken down at the same time, then maybe I'll have to upload on DBZ Cuban Talks or DBZ Cuban Plays. I don't know what I'll do if that happens because uh, there is still risk of that possibly happening because I have two strikes on both of the channels. So... If I get one more strike on either of those channels, or both of those channels, uh, both of those channels get taken down. So, I'm trying to be very cautious with that, and what I wanted to bring up about that topic is that I'm either going to continue doing it the same way as I usually do, or I'm going to just show the subtitles. If, the, if my main channel does get taken down again, then I'm just going to show the sh subtitles on the backup channel from then on forth until we get done with this mess. Um, until we finish with all these co uh, copyright strikes and we're finally, you know, free of any copyright strikes and all the channels are at a good, you know, level. Um, that's when I'll bring back, you know, showing the video. But if the main channel does get taken down again, I'll have to just show the subtitles from now on. Um, and, and from, from now on, I'm just going to continue doing the same thing I usually do. But if the main channel does get taken down, I'll remove the video and just show the subtitles. That's what I'll do. I just want to let you guys know that before we do the live reaction. Just keep you guys updated in case you guys weren't paying attention. Or if in case you guys did not watch the video where I let you guys know about that in the update videos. Anyways, I'm going to stop wasting you guys this time. And let's just dive in with this week's episode. <clears throat> Which I'm honestly very, very excited to watch this week's episode. It looks like they actually skipped the opening. <clears throat> yeah. Or they... Um, Wanted to show something before the opening. Oh, it's Yuri. That was the first character. Because it showed it on Gnome in the beginning. I forgot about that. I honestly want him to do good. I like him. I really do. But obviously I want Yuri to win. And then Yurio. Yurio's my favorite character, but you know, I obviously am rooting for Yuri, even though Yurio's my favorite character. Because Yuri deserves it. I mean, even though I love Yurio, Yuri deserves it. He's put in so much work, he's gone through so much. Chris, I mean, I'm starting to grow towards him. I'm starting to like him. But man, I, I'm not rooting for him. He's very strange. <laughs> I like him too. We started getting some character development with him. Because before he was just, you know, shy and didn't talk to anyone. Um, but now he started getting open. And then JJ. You guys know what I feel about JJ. If you guys been with me for a little bit, even a little bit since they introduced JJ. You know what I feel about JJ. I honestly don't like him, but I don't hate him. That's my thoughts. Oh my god, the final arc is again, and we still get the opening, so I'm, I'm glad we still get the opening, because I love the fucking opening. I wonder if there's anything different in the opening. Maybe the coloration is a little different this time. Yo, we're almost done with this series. That's kind of sad. I hope there's a season two. I honestly hope there's a season two, but I'll be fine depending on the way they end it. I'll be fine if they... They don't do anymore. Because if they end it with Victor and Yuri getting married, you know, make it so, like, con they actually make it, like, conclude and all that stuff, then I'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> I mean, they practically got married in the previous episode, didn't they? <laughs> Born to make history. Ooh. 
We were born to make history. I'm sorry, guys, that I have to remove the uh, audio and I have to edit all this shit. It's just for copyright reasons, you know. I wish I could just show you the video. Really, I do. I wish you guys could watch it with me, honestly. But for copyright reasons, and as, as you guys have already seen, uh, my channels just keep getting taken down. So I'm sorry, guys. Oh, that's different. I just really, I noticed that. They, they showed like Yurios in the background. Or not Yurio, they showed Yuri's face in the back. God damn it. <laughs> Did I say Yurio? <laughs> wow. That's how you know I'm tired. That's how you know I'm tired. Today's been a really busy day with recording. Still in the ring. Ooh, look at there. <laughs> look at the audience. Yo, they're officially engaged. I don't care what anyone says. They're officially engaged. I mean, everyone else is thinking it. The only one that says it's anything different is Yuri. Even Victor says they're engaged. Aw, oh, that was cute. They were both, like, kissing the ring at the same time. Eros. By the way, it's a, um, it's a little laggy because I'm rendering a video at the same time as I'm reacting to it. So I'm sorry about that, guys, as well. But it's actually doing pretty good. I can't beat JJ. So JJ has five points above him right now. Well, I'm not saying like right now in this match, but I'm saying in previous match, he's five points better than him. I guess that's a better way of saying it. Yo, he's going for the win. I do. <laughs> He's grown so much to think now he's going all out and he wants to win. He has to drive to win. Instead of being nervous, he's actually doing something about it. That's what I wanted to see in this anime, and that's what the anime succeeded in doing. Honestly, I hope that I, one day I might actually cosplay as Yuri. Yo, Victor's dancing with him. I mean, ice skating is a form of dance. And then he does the pose. Excuse me, guys. Yo, he's exhausted. He pushed his body to new limits. What's wrong? Does he think he didn't make it? So Victor also has his own reasoning for doing this. Ah. Uh. I love him. I really do. 
He looks like he's genuine. He really it looks like he's a decent person. <coughs> and he has a catchy song too. Hold up, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, the video is rendering. Finish rendering. Anyways, we're back into it. Yo, he's doing it like it's nothing. He's showing no amount of tired, of being tired. Ah, that came true today. Honestly, here's one question I have for you guys. What performance do you think is better? Do you like a performance that's more beautiful where the crowd's quiet? Or do you think a performance is better when the crowd is wild up and clapping along and into it? What do you think a performance more? When the crowd's like, ah, or when the crowd's clapping along with it? That's a, that's a, that's a very interesting question I just thought about. <laughs> Kiss and cry. <laughs> He's in second now. Come on, Yurio, come on. You got this. I want him to at least be second. I would love it if his grandpa comes to the last performance. That's what I want to see, too. And I want to see his performance after seeing his grandpa in the crowd. But obviously, you know, his grandpa isn't coming because this is Barcelona. Wow, that's interesting. You know, every time, you know, he adds something to the performance, like more emotional, like like every single emotional event he goes through adds to his performance to, to make him grow towards agape, I guess you could say. Like the event with his grandpa, the event with... Uh, Creating a new friend. So through that, his performance gets better and better, too. I hope you guys know what I meant, because I, I feel like I explained that horribly wrong. But I hope you guys knew, like, the premise of what I was talking about. He's watching yu gi -Oh. Dang, Yurio. I fucking love you. <laughs> he as well is exhausted. What's going on? Why, why is the music all sinister like that? Come on. And then they have the freaking cutscene. Is Yurio going to get first? He did.
What? He surpassed Victor? Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to the second. You can't just go to the next performance after that. He surpassed Victor's world record? That's... That's something to say. Oh my god. Seeing Chris's... Oh my god, no! <laughs> Seeing this performance again. Yo, he is definitely sex appeal. Like, no doubt about it. I mean, Yuri might have sex appeal, but this is 100%, no doubt about it, sex appeal. <laughs> Victor, for some reason, Victor's seeming a little different now. I wonder if it has to do with these two past episodes where he's been talking about, like, there's these new feelings in him now. Because what I feel like is Victor got tired of ice skating. Like, he felt like it was just the same old repeat and he felt like he was lacking something. So by becoming a coach, he felt like he can gain that feeling that he's lacking. And I think now he's feeling it through Yuri, as he said earlier. Is he going to beat Yuri? He's second. He's rooting for him. What does that mean? Does that mean good luck? Yo, I like his outfit though. No, you gotta have... There you go. So, he feels like he lacks talent. But even though he lacks talent, he keeps going. That's what I like about him. He lacks talent and training. JJ. I hope JJ fucks up. <laughs> yeah. I honestly do. I honestly do. Because if he succeeds, that means Yuri goes down another one. Because if he gets first place, then he he surpasses Yuri. Then Yuri is second. And then Chris is third. Well, depending on the, his score, too. Aww. Poor Yuri. 
He just kept, keeps getting put in down. And now he's second. So you surpassed Chris. So Yurio still first though. What was that? Something threw him off. Something's throwing him off. Oh no, now I'm feeling bad that I I wished him bad luck. No, 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 JJ, no. Aww. He's getting nervous. He's feeling pressured. That's what's happening. I mean, I just said it. He's feeling pressured. I honestly, I don't like him, but I don't hate him. Like... I don't wish the worst for him. It's just I wish the best for Yuri. So, oh, look at the crowd crying. Oh my God, yo, that touches me. That honestly touches me. One of the final six. Dang, poor JJ. Honestly, yo, I feel him. I wonder what his score's gonna be. He got sixth place. <sighs> I feel bad now! <laughs> Like, <laughs> look at Yurio going crazy. <laughs> oh my god, Yurio still being jealous as ever. Um, so that was nice. Yurio actually got first place. So I wonder how Yuri is gonna be able to match up to this now. How is he gonna make up for all of these points? That he is... Because everyone else is going to try their best in the second match too. They're not going to let... Like, they're not going to budge. So, Yurio, Yuri has to try even, like, harder than anyone else. Just to, like, final To catch up. Just to catch up. So, I don't know. I don't know. JJ... Same, same for JJ. JJ has to try really, really hard in the next round to actually catch up. Honestly... I just, he's cocky. He's just way too cocky, but I mean, like, and he's too very, I don't know what, he's very, I don't know. It's just, his personality I don't like, but he's not really that much of a bad guy. He's cocky, but he's not a bad guy. I don't wish the worst for him, but, like, I just don't like him. I, I really don't. <laughs> That's just how I feel about JJ. Um, now, talking about the other performances, though, I love everyone else. Uh, Chris, you know, Chris is Chris. <laughs> That's all I can say. Chris is Chris. Uh, I love Pichiti. Um, he really... <sighs> There's more.
There's the Instagram Instagram post. Excuse me. So what are you gonna do? You don't. And what? And what? What is this? Yo, I hope he didn't mean to end ice skating. I hope he meant to end, you know, fighting, <laughs> fighting, you know, the, the emotions he has towards Victor. I hope that's what he meant instead of retiring. Um, I don't know. Dang, it, it left with that cliff. It really left with that cliffhanger. Um, by seeing Victor and Yuri's faces after this, it looks like it wasn't really that good of a question or or topic that they actually talked about so hopefully it's not that he's gonna quit like that's what i'm i'm really really hope that's not what it is that he's gonna quit right after this after so much work he's put in through he can't just end it right now unless he wins if he wins then i get he's perfectly fine if he retires because <laughs> that's all he wanted it was to win but i mean like i'll be okay if he continues i'll be okay if he retires at that point but if he loses i want him to continue um you know, continue trying and trying and trying and continue growing and growing. Um, even if he wins, I want him to continue growing and growing as well. Uh, but, honestly, it looks like he wants to retire. And uh, with how, honestly, if he's already thinking of retiring and he hasn't even finished the last performance, honestly, I don't know how the last performance is going to be then. If he, that, that makes him like lose, uh, like honestly, if you're going to retire, like you're playing football, right? Let's, I'm, I'm going to use a football re reference. If you're doing a football and then you make it all the way to like almost the Super Bowl and right before the Super Bowl, you decide, okay, this is the final thing. I'm going to retire after this. And like you, you're just not motivated to do anything. You're just like, okay, I'm retired. Like you have no more passion or anything like that. Cause that's what looks like it was going for Yuri. You're not going to try your best in the Super Bowl. You're not, unless you want to go out with a bang. Unless you want to go with the bank, but it looked like to me that Yurio did not want to go, or uh, Yuri, I keep saying Yurio, it's just, it's so similar, the names are so similar, um, it looks like Yuri doesn't want to go out with a bang, he's just tired, he's he's just sick and tired of it, it looks like that's what it was, hopefully that's not what it is, hopefully he actually wants to go out with a bang if he actually is thinking of retiring, he wants to go, you know what, this is my perfect performance, I'm going to do amazing, I'm going to give it my all best, because this is going to be my last performance of a victor, um, I don't know. Why did it end with that cliffhanger? Honestly, I'm going to rewatch this episode because I feel like I left, uh, I missed a few things. Because there was a few times where the subtitles was just going off way too fast. And I'm like, what? I, was, I wasn't even able to read like one fucking word from that sentence uh, at one point. So I'm going to rewatch this episode after this. Um, I would like to hear what do you guys think uh, Yuri's going to say to Victor. Do you guys think he's going to propose his love to him? <laughs> That's what I'm hoping it is. Do you guys think he's going to retire after this? Um... What do you guys think? Maybe he's getting jealous of Victor and how Victor's looking at other people. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe it has to do with that. Uh, I honestly don't know. It could be many things. It really could be many things. I would like to hear what do you guys think Yuri's going to say to Victor. Um, also, I would like to hear what do you guys think is better, uh, a better performance like what I asked earlier. Do you guys think a performance is better when you guys are awe and, you know, speechless? Or do you guys have a, a better performance is where you're in it, you know, clapping along with it and, you know, you know, hyped with it in, in the performance, you're into it. Uh, which performance do you think is better? It's it's kind of comparing Yuri, uh, Yuri's performance to uh, Pichiti. Uh, I'm sorry I cannot pronounce his name right. It's just, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a name of a different language and it's a different dialect and my tongue can't even speak properly English, let alone Thailand. Um, uh, is it, is it Thailand? No. How do you say the language of Thailand? Is it Thai, Taiwanese? I think it's Taiwanese or something like that. No, no. I'm thinking about Vietnamese, am I? I don't know. Uh, could you also leave that in the comment section down below? I'm interested. Now that's going to bother me because um, 
I feel bad that I don't know what language it is. Um, um, anyways, I would definitely love to hear your thoughts on this episode in the comments section down below. Um, and I'm gonna end the video with that. If you guys like my reaction, please leave a like. Also, subscribe. Check my channel in the description box below. Also, follow me on social media or keep guys out there in case anything happens. And I'll see you guys in the next episode or, well, next week with the next episode. I fucked that up so bad. Bye, guys.